Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. So today I'm in a different setting. I'm sitting on the ground actually in my living room by the light. Um, today I wanted to make a video interview and phone interview tips. So if you guys would like, just keep watching. So before I begin, I just wanted to let you guys know, for those that have been keeping up with my videos, that I did receive a training date finally. So I should be attending training April 2nd um, or earlier if they have like slots open for any earlier classes. I'm super excited. I won't say which airline, but if you guys watch my videos, you know airline that I received a CJO from. So yeah, I'm super excited to begin training. I know it's two months away, but those two months will come sooner than I know it. I've actually been studying uh, all these airport codes. Just studying, studying, studying as much as I can. Um, so yeah, let's get started on the phone interview tips. I only had one phone interview and it was with Frontier. Um, so yeah, tip number one is to make sure you're projecting your voice and speaking clearly through the phone. Uh, you don't want the recruiter to um, ask you to repeat your answer or anything like that. So make sure you're speaking clearly and projecting your voice. Another tip is to make sure that um, like where you're taking your phone call or whatever, it's a quiet place. You don't want a baby crying in the back. You don't want dogs barking, uh, roommates or family just being super, super loud, you know, grandma watching her novellas or in the kitchen just being loud cooking. You want it to be complete silent. Um, definitely, if you live with people, let them know like, hey, I have a really important interview at this time, you know, make sure it's quiet. Uh, if you have to even kick them out for like 20 minutes, go ahead and do that. Um, just make sure it's really quiet so that nothing can go wrong nothing can go wrong in that aspect and the very 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 important um, thing that you should do before taking your phone interview with I mean this is specifically for flight attending but it can be for any job is make sure you pay your phone bill okay little story time so I was super prepared to have my phone interview with Frontier and they send you a reminder email so it's like you're having your phone interview at such and such date and time and I'm in Florida so I mean I'm Eastern time so my interview was at 1 o'clock like 1 p.m. and in Colorado which is where their base is it was three hours before so it was 10 a.m. in Colorado 1 p.m. in Florida so I was super like nervous about that because I'm like, oh my god, what if I, you know, accidentally don't pick up the phone call because of the time change and all of this. Uh, but I made sure that it was 1 o'clock p.m. my interview was at. And at the time I was working from home, so like I had specifically taken my break, um, my like lunch break, when I knew that I had to expect a phone call. So anyways, I'm waiting and I'm waiting and it's 12.50, it's 12.55, it's like 12... 59 and I never received a phone call so it was like 12 30 no it was 1 30 I remember it was 1 30 I even emailed my friend emailed I even texted my friend that works for Frontier and I was like hey when you did your phone interview were they late or did they call on time and he stated that they called like on time so I emailed my recruiter and I said hey let me actually bring it up so I can read it for you guys so I emailed um, the recruiter and I said, hello, I have not received a call yet. And they said, hello, Nina, a recruiter called the phone number listed on our appointments uh, two times before leaving a voice message. All candidates are allowed to reschedule their phone interview one time. Please wait until midnight to reschedule. Um, and then, you know, we look forward to speaking with you in the near future. So it was like, I never received a phone call. This is weird. So I, you know, responded back and I said, uh, I said, oh no, may I ask what the number, like what phone number um, do you guys have? Because I thought maybe they had the wrong phone number. I stated that I didn't receive any phone calls. So she said, a recruiter called the phone number listed on our appointments um, software two times before leaving a voice message. Oh wait, no. I was just reading the same message. 
Okay, she said the recruiter said she was actually unable to leave a message. After calling twice, the phone indicated that a message could not be left at that time. Feel free to reschedule your phone interview after midnight. So I was like, you know, okay, thank you. I'll try to see what's wrong with my phone. Come to find out, I never paid my phone bill. Like, what are the odds that... I don't know so the reason and I was home so I was still able to like get on Instagram Facebook um, even send messages I was able to do that but once I called my voicemail I realized I didn't pay my phone bill so I did that right away and I was so mad because I was so ready for that phone interview and I ended up having to wait a whole nother week till I was able to um, you know do my phone interview so word of advice make sure you pay your phone bill make sure you charge your phone so none of that can happen to you <laughs> so now let's move on to video interview tips so tip number one just as with your phone interview you want to make sure that no one is yelling or being loud in the background while you're doing your video interview uh, you don't want any background noise make sure you either turn your phone off or put it on silent so your phone doesn't randomly ring while you're doing your video interview um, make sure that there is a clear background when you're doing your video interview as well uh, I personally wouldn't do my video interview with this background but it's not too bad um, but a just blank wall is best so there's no distractions behind you you definitely don't want your dirty room behind you or any of that uh, so make sure it's just clean background as for lighting um, daytime definitely don't film at night if you do make sure you have some good lighting um, this is perfect lighting I'm I have a big window here um, even if you have to sit on the floor and do your video interview, well, no, I don't recommend that. Don't do that. <laughs> sit at a chair, sit at a desk. When one of your favorite YouTubers Snapchat you. Also, make sure your laptop or phone is charged, whichever you're using for your video interview. I personally would use a laptop more than a phone because with your laptop or computer desktop, it's stable it's not gonna fall unless you have like a little pop socket which a lot of people have nowadays I have one but I don't have one anymore I have to get a new one um, it's hard to like stable your phone on something to do your video interview and it's also a smaller screen um, so I personally would use a laptop or a desktop to do my video interview instead of a phone but you use what you have um, even if I didn't have a laptop or a desktop, I would even try to borrow someone's just for the video interview because personally I think it's best, but you use what you have. As for questions um, and answers like what they asked during your video interview and your phone interview, I won't go too much into detail on that because I am making a separate video about uh, different like questions that they ask. But one thing I will say was my personally the phone interview I had with Frontier was so easy. It literally was like no more than 10 minutes they pretty much just ask basic questions like are you willing to relocate to any of our bases um do you have any tattoos which i will say frontier is super 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 strict on tattoos you can literally have like a little like a little dot like this and you're gonna get disqualified they're very strict on tattoos um so if you're applying to frontier definitely look at their um like policy on that um what else oh yeah so they asked you know do you have any tattoos if so where um they also asked uh i don't really remember but it was like super like yes or no questions um and then at the end they asked one situational based question such as uh, tell us about a time you went above and beyond for a customer. I think that was the exact question that they asked me. And I told them. And um, at the end, they actually invited me to a face-to-face -face on the phone. And I went to that face-to-face -face interview. Make sure you guys check that out. Maybe I'll link it down below. As for appearance, to like what you should wear during your video interview I'll link a picture of what I wore I wore the same thing to my three video interviews um, you know just make sure you're comfortable and confident I personally wore red lipstick I love wearing red lipstick 
you don't have to if you're not comfortable definitely don't wear it because it'll show you know that you're uncomfortable um i would say the minimum wear mascara wear some type of lipstick even if it's nude and maybe some foundation i would you know look presentable you're doing a video video interview so this is the first you know time that they're kind of seeing you aside from your resume your hair your hair should definitely be pulled back don't have it down like me um definitely have it pulled back i had mine in a low ponytail um i mean or a bun if you have super super long hair definitely put it up uh, so you're not like playing with your hair if you're someone who likes to talk with your hands make sure you keep that to a minimal or don't talk with your hands at all another super important tip is do not wait till last minute to complete your video interview um, I've done three and pretty much for all of them I had five days if not four so I had four to five days uh, I'm the type of person to leave everything till last minute but with this I didn't I pretty much just if they give you five days tell yourself you have three days or four days just so you know you can leave that extra day in case something happens you never know you might have a power out power outage your computer might break or something so don't leave it till last minute you definitely want to make sure you complete it on time and my very last tip I would say is practice 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 those questions you can literally look on glassdoor.com or indeed.com and people will have like the exact same questions or similar questions listed on the website um so i mean definitely look through those read through them um what i personally did was i had a notebook just like this and i wrote down questions that i think that they would ask and i wrote the answer and i did that for i think i had like 10 or 12 questions written down and I had answers for each one of them when I did my video interview and when I did my phone interview I had the same notebook right next to me they're not gonna know um, usually it gives you like a timer it'll give you like a minute or two to think about the question and um, answer it so in those one to two minutes you can just glance through your notes and you know compose your answer and say your answer on the uh, either phone or laptop whichever one you decided to choose and as always don't forget to smile 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 throughout your entire uh, interview process face to face even the phone interview and the video interview um, and yeah I honestly wish everyone good luck whether you're applying for a flight attendant position or any really any job position that you're applying for i hope this was super helpful if you guys have any questions definitely leave a comment down below if i missed anything i'll be sure to reply um make sure you like comment subscribe all of that and i will be back with more videos